Hey, Pedro. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm fine. And you? How are you? Uh, fine. Nice. How was your day? My day is good. And I uh, to be continuous that. Uh, study uh, in English and the course and um, LinkedIn course uh, with with the company um, and um, some projects personal and uh, I help uh, my my sons and daughter and 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 your and your class and the um, homework and everything in the homework some some problems are uh, different but uh it's, it's, it's a it's a activity different activities but only change the <laughs> changing the 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 activities and in some project personal project too in, in here um, it's okay <laughs> nice you you keep but, your mind busy and that's nice <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah that that is important otherwise um you are thinking about the coronavirus all the time and that's dangerous uh for your mind and also for your for your health <laughs> yes and yeah. to to next weekend is um is uh, to to top the the uh, coronavirus for the fear people to uh, have the or infect the coronavirus. Ah, okay. Okay. And yeah, like and this and this two week the the graph to changing mm -hmm. yeah to yeah i think it's we we really need to take care of ourselves because i mean this this illness um may be dangerous uh, for some people mm -hmm. yes in santa ana and the molinos colony molino yes yeah the, the, res, the residential yeah. in front of the university uh-huh uh -huh. Yeah, uh, person and Texas Tepec. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, true, but uh, other person is found in this in this place. Uh, it's possible to make more, more, more person. But in this moment, the uh, the people uh, have the the virus. Uh, for the moment, uh, nothing died in this moment. Yeah, they say that all the people are stable, you know, like they are not suffering, they are not, I mean, their health is, is, is nice. I think that that is working for them. And uh, it is good because that keeps the environment in the country a little bit um, more relaxed, you know, because if we have a lot of people dying, I think people will be more uh, scared about all these things happening. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because in the Italy it's dangerous because yeah, so Italy is it's super dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over there there are many people dying. I remember once there were like eight hundred people dying, right? Yes. Yeah, imagine. No, that that's that's another level <laughs> and uh the, the the bad thing is that i mean supposedly their medical system is better than our medical system right and uh yes. and imagine if that happens here in the country oh my god if we have a lot of people suffering and and you know experience experiencing the the the, the sickness i think it will be more difficult to control it Mm -hmm. Yes, the the system, the security system in this moment to, to 
to mm -hmm. running right now mm -hmm. in, for the president is the better. Yeah, so, yeah, I think it's the best one. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's the best one. I mean, that's the best thing that we can do. Mm -hmm. And hello, everybody. Hi, Mary. Hi, Maria Elena. Hi, Usaida. Hi, teacher. How are you? How was your day, people? Hi, fine. Nice. Hi. I'm working. <laughs> yeah, for the ones that work, like me. What time do you get? What time do you wake up when you have to work? <laughs> I mean, when you go to work, like to the place that you work, to the company. But now that you have to work from home, if you work from home, what time do you wake up? Me, I go to the job. Yeah, I'm in your like, case, uh -huh, you have to go. At seven, seven o'clock. <laughs> ah, okay, at seven. And the others? Yeah. Nine. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, hmm. I was working in, a, in a, for about eight projects of sexual ah. violence. Okay. But, but you're working from home, right? Yeah, my home. Uh -huh. What time do you wake up now that you have to work in your house? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, what time do you have to wake up now that you, have, that you are in your house? Because in my case, I work from home, you know? Uh, so today I woke up at 8 or sometimes I wake up at 9 because I control nice. my time. <laughs> nice. Amazing. I wake up, I wake, I wake, uh, wake up at night of nine o'clock like me yeah i mean of course we have to take advantage of that we yes. cannot <laughs> most of the times we have to wake up very early like in my case when i go to the university i wake up at 4 a.m <laughs> i go to mm. my job um 3 a.m what 3 a.m 3 a.m my yes. god jesus mm -hmm. yeah that's another one from, I got from Zacateco, Luca, mm -hmm. uh, from San Salvador. Oh, from Zacateco, Luca to San Salvador. And the traffic, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My hours in check. Oh, no. Yeah. Check in. Yeah, check in. Uh -huh. Check in is 7 o'clock. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, around 6 a.m., I think the traffic is starting to, to appear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the most horrible thing. In my case, from Metapan to Santa Ana, sometimes we don't have traffic. But it is very common to have accidents. And when we have accidents, there are many people, you know, in the, in the traffic. Because the streets over here, they have only one way. It is only one way, un carril, mm -hmm. okay? One, one way uh, to go to Santa Ana and one way to go to Metapan. So if there is an accident, of course, it is going to be a mess. <laughs> like in Sometimes. San Salvador, there are like two or three ways, you know, or, or rails. Uh -huh. Sometimes um, I go to uh, Hayaque. Mm -hmm. In this case, uh, it's, my, it's more difficult. Yeah, it is, it is far. Way, los chorros. Ah, yeah, Los Chorros is horrible. Mm -hmm. I know many people that, that live in Santa Ana and they work in San Salvador. And it is horrible, right, for, for Los Chorros, I think. That's, that's, that's the, wor the worst. <laughs> that's the worst street. <laughs> All right, but thank you so much for joining us, okay? Thank you so much for making the time to be in this class. And we're going to begin, all right? Um, let's see, we are going to start reviewing the different rules that we have. Uh, I don't know if you were able to do the practice on the platform. Could you do the practice on the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yeah. Did yes. you have any questions about any of the words? No. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that you know the rules, I think it is a little bit easier, but at the beginning, Probably there were some details that, that uh, we had to work on. But just for you to remember, okay, we have one syllable adjectives, and usually we have consonant, vowel, consonant, okay, and we double the letter. For example, big, bigger, biggest, hat, hatter, hattest, okay. It is important that we remember that, and also it is important that we remember how to use 
uh, the together with the superlative, okay? Because that's something that we need to have all the time. And when we have the comparative, we need to use then. Uh, also, we were talking about the one syllable adjectives, that in this case, it is uh, a little bit easier, okay? Just be careful, for example, if you're telling me, if you're comparing El Pital and La Libertad, for example, okay? Don't tell me that, um, for example, don't tell me that El Pital is more colder, okay? In that case, it is a mistake, okay? Because you're using more and then you are, uh, you are adding an extra more, okay, in colder. So you need to say only colder. You don't need to say more or less in that case. Uh, because probably that, those things are going to happen but again, you're learning and you can commit those mistakes. And probably a person from the United States is going to understand, okay? But the correct word or the correct way to say that is only colder. You don't need to say more colder or more taller or more cleaner, no, okay? You need to say only colder, taller or cleaner or smaller, okay? I think uh, a smallest, I think it is a little bit uh, easier to use, okay? because you're using the, okay? The smallest. Um, also, we were talking about two-syllable uh, two adjectives, and but when, we, when, when they finish with the letter Y, okay? Uh, in this case, we have funny, angry, happy, okay? In this case, yes, we need to follow the rules, just like in the other case, funnier, angrier, happier, funniest, angriest, happiest, okay? But when we have two syllable nouns, uh, sorry, adjectives or more, okay, or more syllables, in that case, we need to use more or less, okay? More or less. Um, and finally, we have the irregular adjectives. Who remember what are the two irregular adjectives? What are those? Mm -hmm. What are the two irregular adjectives that we were learning yesterday? Good and better. Good and better. And the bad, other one? Far. Ah, bad, worse, and worst. Okay, worst. Uh, good, better, and best. Bad, worse, and worst. Okay. So these are irregular because they change. Okay. They change. All right. I have a couple of questions over here that you're going to help me to answer. I'm going to do the first one, and then I'm going to ask the same question to another person, okay? Uh, in my case, who is the most famous person in our country? Mm, I think the most famous person in my country is, I don't know, maybe La Tenchis, right? I don't know, she's very famous. Because if she goes to the United States, people, at least people from El Salvador know her, right? People from El Salvador know her. Or do you have any other, any other person? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's see, Pedro, what, what do you think? Who's the most famous person in our country? Famous? Uh -huh, the most famous person in our country. Who do you think? In this country? Mm -hmm. In El Salvador. Yeah. In this moment. <laughs> in uh -huh. this moment, is, uh, President Bukele is oh, uh, yeah. using the notice in all the wrong in the, in, the, in the world. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, because he's a president and he has a good communication with other people and other presidents, right? Yeah, probably he's the most famous person, right? Probably. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Pedro. Let's see, Maria Elena. Who is the most important person in your family and why? Uh -huh. The most important persons mm -hmm. in my family are my children. Your children. Why? I, but I love so much. You love your children. Um, <laughs> uh, 
the dog the dog is jealous uh, <laughs> yeah. the dog is I like have, what about me i have, I have cry cry um my heart me <laughs> yeah yeah how old are they i don't know, I don't know. Uh -huh. how old are they <laughs> what sorry I, I i don't yeah how how old are your children oh my daughter um 12 years old mm -hmm. my son nine years old nine years old oh yeah they're very they're very little <laughs> okay they're very yeah. young okay thank you marilena let's see okay. um luis who is the most important person in your family? The most, imo the most important person in my family is my father. Okay, because, why? Mm -hmm. Because he works very hard for He works us. very hard, uh-huh, okay. Yeah. How old is he? He's 50 years old. 50, 50 years, years old. old, okay. Yeah. And uh, do you like to spend time together? Sometimes we like to talk about and uh, play the, the guitar. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice. You have a job, you have a, like a hobby to, to share, right? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Nice. Thank you. All right. And Saida, who's the most important person in your family and why? Are two. My mother uh -huh. and my father. Yeah, and my father. Okay, why? Mm, because they are helping to me always. Mm, okay, okay. And uh, what do you like to do as a family? Excuse me. What do you like to do as a family? Mm, talk. <laughs> you like to talk. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> Okay, okay. And uh, what's your favorite food to, to prepare? Like, you know, when you have a special occasion in your family, what do you usually eat as a family? Chicken with vegetables. Vegetables, okay, perfect. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. Perfect. In my case, my family and I, I will say that when we have like a special occasion, my mother prepares, uh, uh, what we call turkey, you know, like the Christmas chicken that we prepare. Uh, that is what my mom prepares every time that we have a special uh, event or something. She likes to prepare that. And actually, I think it is pretty good. Um, and she likes to prepare that all the time. So I think that's really nice that we have something uh, to share when we have a special occasion. Okay. Let's see the next question. What is the funniest movie you know? The funniest movie that you know. Uh, let's see, Pedro. What is the funniest movie? Funniest movie? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Is, <laughs> um, the spend, when I, I so remember sometimes and uh, uh, the Mexico is uh, this person. Cantinflas, no. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> the Cantinflas, all, all, all the, the, the movies is, uh, are funny. Yeah, I know. And I don't know why so many people don't like them. I mean, do you like Cantinflas people, the others? Um, yeah. I yeah. like it very much. Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Or yeah. Less. Really, you don't like it. <laughs> I like Why? Capulina. Capulina. Yeah, that one is very funny as well. <laughs> yeah, but I don't Biruta. know. Biruti Capulina. Yeah, Biruta and Capulina. <laughs> yeah, I mean they are very funny. I don't know why many people don't like. Uh, well, we have one person here that doesn't like uh, Cantinflas. I think uh, he doesn't have to. Uh, I don't know. There are some comedians that they do whatever in order to make people laugh, but just like the way that he is, I think sometimes they, he makes you laugh because of that. 
And I think, what's your favorite movie from, from Cantinflas, uh, Pedro? Uh, what is the funniest for you? What is the funniest movie from Cantinflas? Barrendero. The Barrendero, okay. Quiero ser diputado, policía 707. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah. I think the one that I prefer the most is uh, when he is the, the priest, the, el padre, the cura. And el also, siete machos. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I like that one, and I, I also like the one in which in which he is a doctor. And mm -hmm. it's one a teacher, too. Excuse me? With the teacher. Yeah, uh, when he's a teacher, too. Sale una de maestro. Yeah, it's uh -huh. true. Yeah, he, he can do whatever he wants to. He has El all the profession. is nice, too. Yeah, the, the, the priest is very nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, they are very funny. They are very, very funny. And some t there are some of them that are that are black and white, right? <laughs> but even, I mean, even like that, oh, yeah. we, we are there watching the movies. <laughs> all right, let's see. Thank you, Pedro. Uh, Saida, where is the coldest place in El Salvador for you? The coldest, mm, the coldest place in El Salvador is Chalatenango. Chalatenango, okay. Have you ever been to Chalatenango? No. Never. <laughs> I suppose. Okay, what is the coldest place that you have ever been to? Mm, uh, the coldest, mm, no, I don't know. You, like a place in which you went and you were like, this is a teacher, I'm very cold. It doesn't have to be in El Salvador. It can be any other country. I don't know. Guatemala, sometimes it is colder than El Salvador. I don't know. Maybe you went to Sonsonate um, or something. I have Sonsonate. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. The coldest place in El Salvador. Okay. And where did you go in Sonsonate? Uh, I don't know if the place is here, uh, Laberinto Albania, is ah, here or Santana? No, it is in, let me see, that is in Apaneca. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a... Yeah. And how was it? Did you place... like it? Yes. Okay. Did you go in the, in the maze, in the Laberinto? Yes. Ah, okay. Did you, did you find the, the place, the center? Yes, I did. <laughs> was it easy or difficult? <laughs> mm, for me, difficult. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have to walk a lot, and it's very tiring. <laughs> yes. Yeah, all right, thank you. It's a stressful. <laughs> yeah, it's a stressful too, I know. I, I don't want to go there anymore. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> only one time, and that's, that's it. <laughs> I can say that I went to Albania, and that's it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Thank you, Luis. Uh, what is the coldest place in El Salvador that you have visited? The coldest place in El Salvador I have visited is Los Naranjos. Los Naranjos. Where did you go in yeah. specific? Did you visit a specific restaurant? Or hotel? Yeah, it's called El, the name restaurant is Paso de Alaska. Ah, Paso de Alaska. I never yeah. been there. Is it expensive? A little. A little? Okay. Yeah. Just, and what's, just a little. What, what did you eat when you went there? Meat and let me see. How do you say crochet? I forgot the word. Kebabs. Mm -hmm. Kebabs, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I eat kebabs. Kebabs is, I can say kebabs with meat of yeah, like meat kebabs, uh -huh. meat kebabs. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, nice. Sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, there are many restaurants there. And I remember Los Naranjos, uh, we went with my family. And there is like a small, uh, there is like a small, it is not a restaurant or a cafeteria. It's like a champa, you know. It is a small champa. And uh, the, the, the women over there, they sell pupusas, pastelitos. Uh, you can... Yeah, and it's and I it's... think that the champa is in front of a uh, let me see a restaurant. No, 
It is in front of the park. Yeah. Like the ah, mini park. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah it's it nice is, there. Yeah, yeah. It is so delicious. And it is very cheap. Yes, yeah, it's very cheap and you can eat mm -hmm. a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. I was very surprised because my mom said, let's go there. And I was like, mm, really? <laughs> 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 and then when we, when we went there, it was all the food and all the people eating. And I'm like, okay, this looks very nice and very delicious. And then mm. when I tried the food, it was like, wow, it's actually very delicious. You know, <laughs> it doesn't look like, but it's very delicious. So if you go to Las Naranjos people uh, in front of the park, there is a little champa. Okay. And even some people make a line there sometimes, right? In order to buy uh, food there because it's actually very, very good. All right. Let's see. Uh -huh. Which restaurant has the best service for you? Let's see. Mary, what do you think? Which restaurant has the best service? Here in Santana. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh... Mm, for me, maybe the pizza hut. Okay, okay. Have you ever had any problem with the service there? No, I don't have any problems. I think that it's very fast and the people mm -hmm. all the time is very, I don't know, happy. <laughs> yeah, they are happy and they can sing yes. happy birthday to you, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yes. Yeah, they put on a hat and and they sing together. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that's very really nice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see, Saida, what do you think? Which restaurant has the best service? The best restaurant service for me, uh, Pizza Hut 2. Okay. But only the breakfast. Ah, only the breakfast. Okay. Why not in the lunch and dinner? Mm, I'm lleno. Ah, it is crowded? It is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and you don't like to wait or? No, I don't like uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, but actually the breakfasts are very good, even though they are a little expensive, yeah. but they are very nice. Yeah. All right, let's see, Pedro, what do you think? Which restaurant has the best service? There's a Pizza Hut and the Papa Young too. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. My daughter loves love Papa Young. And, and the rest in my family uh, eats uh, pizza hut. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, so you have to divide sometimes when you want to eat pizza, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think Papayons is really nice. I remember the first time that I went to Papayons was in San Salvador. Actually, it was in La Gran Villa, I think. And uh, I remember the waiter. Uh, when we wanted to order, the waiter didn't take notes. He learned everything. And uh, every single person orders something different. A different type of pizza, a different type of drink. And, uh, and the waiter was like, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are you going to take notes or what? And he's like, no, I, I have everything in my mind. And <laughs> when he brought the food, actually, it was everything as we said. And uh, and I was like, wow, really? You learned everything. You have a good memory. I don't. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, actually, that's nice. But I think that's the only person that I have ever met like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not many people can do that. <laughs> mm. yeah. okay. okay, now let's talk about the opposite. Which restaurant has the worst service? The worst service. Let's see, Luis, what do you think? Let me see. One that you said, no, I'm not coming back here anymore. <laughs> not again. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. What a pupu said, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> they they charge extra for the for the sauce. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there are some pupu that do that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pupusas are life. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> mm -hmm, the worst restaurants. Oh, here in Santa Ana, in Ch Kaulan, China store? My goodness. I oh. think Camperro Chicken. Do you wait for a long time? My God. 
Yeah. Yeah, but even in Campero, I think that's very common. Uh, not all of them, right? But sometimes in Campero, I don't know, because probably they have free refill from soda. They don't like to give soda, I think. <laughs> because at, yeah. at least here in Metapan, sometimes when you want soda, they are like trying to look to the other side and not to pay attention to you because you're asking for more soda, you know, or more tea, yeah. for example. And they're mm -hmm. like, ah, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> okay, yeah. And also, Cailanchino, uh, I think I have, I have been there once, but it was not crowded. It was only uh, like three tables, I think. And I My think it, it was nice, but I think when it's crowded, it's worse, right? It's amazing the time you do wait for a really? soup. <laughs> Really? Know. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever asked for delivery? Mm, I think that I have delivery. Maybe today for the emergency, maybe, but mm -hmm. I don't see that. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, they give a lot of food, right? But I don't know, maybe you can order China work. I think it's better. <laughs> the, but the, the soup is not the same in, in mm -hmm. China work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. True. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's see, Marielena, what do you think? Uh, the word? Restaurant service. Uh -huh. Restaurant? Service. Uh -huh. Like uh, they didn't, uh, yeah, they didn't. Mm -hmm. Is a burger team. Okay, burger team. Uh -huh. I don't like these hamburgers. You don't like uh, the hamburgers? No. No. Uh, once? Mm -hmm. Me dio diarrea como... <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Wow, really. <laughs> But what about other hamburgers like Wendy's or, or McDonald's? Not the same thing. McDonald's and Wendy's? Eh, sí, las pasas. No me da nada. Uh, okay. Burger King, no, I don't like. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, I think Burger King is a little bit similar to Biggest, but we have Biggest some time ago. Ah, uh, Biggest, the, 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 the famous. Uh-huh, the, the famous. Most famous mm -hmm. the, the most famous the Burger King. Eh, más barato, ¿cómo, cómo It's cheaper. It's uh -huh. cheaper. Cheaper? Uh -huh. Cheaper. Yeah. The is cheaper. Yeah. Big hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that I like the about hamburgers, uh -huh. the order need are big. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have you have big things. Something that I like about Burger King is the French fries. I think they are really nice. They're very delicious. But yeah, the hamburgers not that much. I think maybe they are they are better. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, Pedro, what is the hottest place that you have ever visited? Uh, Sonsonate. <laughs> It's a ah, hottest place. It's true. In the two, in the two p.m. is the devil or. The devil <laughs> out. <laughs> yes, it's yes, true. It, it really is. The two I don't know. The I, devil I, out. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind it's of dangerous. Yeah, I think it's kind of dangerous because in Sonsonate it is very hot. But then when you go to Los yeah. Naranjos, you know, it's very but, cold. But, but then when you go to uh, Santa I, Ana, it's again hot. <laughs> <laughs> So, so because uh, and, and the woman is a, a, a little hot, but <laughs> but no don't it's 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 important. Yeah, it's it's yeah you can you can handle it. Uh huh. All right. Yeah, I think the hottest place in my in my case the the one that I had visited the hottest uh, I think is Usolotan because I went to a a, a soccer game. In, during that time, it was Firpo, you know, <laughs> Firpo, mm -hmm. Firpo and Metapan, and it was horrible. I don't want to be there anymore. I mean, I have so many friends in Osulotan that I'm like, no, I don't want to visit you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's so hot. 
Also, I don't know why, but the airport also is very, it's very hot, right? The airport. Sometimes it is very hot, especially in, in Comalapa. Yeah, it's super yes. hot. Yes, in mm -hmm. the in the like at one or two, mm -hmm. it's so hot. Yeah, it's horrible. I don't know why. Well, I maybe mean, it's... it is very close to the beach, but yes, but it's still. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's very hot. It's true. Yeah, and the people are waiting outside, you know, and, and I I don't know. It's it's difficult. I don't I don't. That's why I don't travel <laughs> because I don't want my family to be there outside, you know, waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah. Or the hat. <laughs> yeah, because it's so hot. All right, thank you guys. Thank you so much. So if you see, I mean, that's how we use this this thing. You know, you just need to um, uh, keep thinking about the the comparatives and superlatives, and then you can uh, continue your conversation with them. Okay. So let's move on. Actually, the last part is very, um, it is very easy. Uh, we're going to see some measurements, okay? Distances and measurements. In this case, uh, no nos vamos a meter a explicar cuántas, cuántos pies hay en centímetros y metros y todo eso, porque sé que eso no nos interesa. Sin embargo, solo quiero que practiquemos eso para que no nos cueste una plataforma, okay? Más que todo, eh, lograr identificar las preguntas, porque en la plataforma creo que tienen que poner preguntas a las respuestas que ya están. Entonces, solo nos vamos a fijar en los key elements para poder saber qué pregunta es, okay? Uh, before we continue, we're going to read a conversation. I'm sorry, I need to wear my glasses. Okay, now I can see the picture. Uh, let's see. Um, let's listen, okay? Uh, Scott, I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is it like? What is it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's, in, and it's very mountainous, okay? Mountainous, montañoso, mountainous. Uh, really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. All right, let's repeat these different words. Let's see. Uh, farms. Do you know what farms are? Granjas. Granjas, mm -hmm. okay. Farms. Uh, la que le dije, montañous. Montañous. Montañoso, okay. Montañous. Mountainous, mm -hmm. mountainous. Um, let's see. Saben decir los números grandes, verdad? Three, three thousand eight hundred. Three thousand, que sería tres mil eight hundred. Three thousand eight hundred meters high. Okay. Meters, meters son metros. Okay. Meters son metros. Um, Let's see, Auckland, that's the name of the city, okay. <clears throat> 2,000 kilometers, 2,000 kilometers, kilometers, sorry. And blah, 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 yeah, I think those are the only, um, those are the only new, new words that we have here, okay. Uh, let's see, Pedro, you're going to be Scott, <clears throat> and Marielena, you're going to be Beth. Okay, I am going to Australia uh, next year. Uh, aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New England. Is is Finland? New Zealand. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. And uh, so, what it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms, and uh, in it's be very mountainous. Mm -hmm. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about there. I there. Three thousand. 
three thousand uh -huh. eight hundred eight hundred meters high. Uh huh. Mm, how far in New Zealand from Australia? <clears throat> well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland. It's about two thousand kilometers mm -hmm. from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit uh, you next year too. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Mary, you're Beth, okay? And Luis, you're Scott. I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 300 and... ¿Cómo se dice? 800, 800. Sería 3,800. 3,800 uh -huh. meters high. Mm -hmm. mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, mm. I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 200 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Excellent. Okay. So, yeah, that's very high. We can see the picture here. It's 3,800 <laughs> meters high. Okay. So, yeah, that's a lot. All right. Uh, we're going to see some questions uh, that we can use with how, okay? Now, something that we need to see is that uh, you can use how, like, for example, how often, um, how are you, you know, we can use how for those type of questions, but also we can use how, how for distance, for measurement, okay? Also to describe something and also to talk about the conditions, okay? And we're going to see how they work. First of all, we're going to take, oh, we're going to talk about the distance, okay? The distance. The first question that I have is, how far is the airport from your house? Have you ever thought about that question? How far is the airport from your house? Do you know maybe a number, people? Do you know a number, and a specific number? Well, in this case, we're going to use kilometers, okay? kilometers. Like in my case, I think the airport is about, I don't know, um, 120 kilometers from my house. Okay. What about you? Do you have an idea on how far is the airport from your house? An approximate? Mm -hmm. Maybe eight, 80 kilometers from my eight, house. Okay, 80 kilometers from your house. Okay, perfect. Thank you. In that case, if you see, I am asking with far, okay? How far? And what is far, people? Lejos. Lejos, okay? Lejos. So in that case, after how, I am going to use an adjective, okay? And the adjective is going to give me an idea of the type of question or the type of answer that I need to that I need to give, okay? So if it's how far, si es eh, que tan lejos, I need to answer with kilometers, okay? Tengo que responder en kilometers, porque a eso responde la palabra far, okay? A eso responde la palabra far. Entonces en este caso en la respuesta ya lo di, que serían los el número de kilometers, okay? How far, okay? And that basically that is basically for distance, okay? Like if someone says, okay, how far is the bank from your house, okay? Or how far is your, your company from your house, okay? So in that case, when you give an answer, you have to answer with kilometers, okay? Ahí tiene que responder con kilometers. Um, also, some people like to say the time, okay? Hay personas que le gusta decir el, el tiempo en vez de los kilometers. Y creo que como salvadoreños estamos acostumbrados a decir eso, que le dicen, ah, mira, y... ¿Qué tan lejos está? Ah, como a 10 minutos. <laughs> okay? But in that case, it's not the correct answer. Uh, in English, they usually say the kilometers. Okay? Casi siempre dicen los kilometers. 
en inglés ellos manejan miles, no manejan los kilómetros, sino que miles. Porque ellos se dedican con otra medida, que serían las millas, no los kilómetros. But in this case, um, in the platform, you're going to have the two options. En la plataforma va a haber las dos, va a haber los kilómetros y las millas. Entonces, al, al ver los kilómetros y las millas, ya usted se dice, ah, le está preguntando how far, ¿ok? ¿Qué tan lejos? ¿Ok? How far. So that is about distance, ¿ok? Eso sería en cuanto a distancia. Now we're going to see measurement, que sería la medida, ¿ok? In this case, we're going to answer, uh, because the question is with how big, ¿ok? How big, ¿qué tan grande? ¿Ok? How big. I know the same thing in Spanish. We don't usually answer this question. Eso siempre como que esta, esta pregunta no la, no la solemos responder nosotros. But in this case, if you want to answer that, you need to say the square kilometers. Okay? Tiene que dar la, la respuesta en kilómetros cuadrados porque eso siempre así se, se, se responde cuando le dicen que tan grande es la ciudad. Okay? Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, no sé qué va a inventar. I, I guess, I think the city is, I don't know, I'm going to use the same one. 120 square kilometers. Ok. Entonces aquí está diciendo que tan grande es. Como repito, eso no lo usamos nosotros casi siempre. O sea, no es común en nosotros responder con kilómetros cuadrados. A no ser que de verdad sepamos cuál es la, cuál es la medida. For example, do you know how big is El Salvador? ¿Saben qué tan grande es El Salvador? Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, igual. En ese caso no es muy común saber eso. Por eso, pero por lo menos aquí sabiendo la idea de que son square kilometers, kilómetros cuadrados. The idea is that the question is with how big. Okay? Que la pregunta me la están que, perdón, que la respuesta se está refiriendo a qué tan grande. Okay? How big. Mm -hmm. How big? Uh, the same thing. How high is the hospital? How high is the hospital? ¿Qué tan alto es el hospital? Okay. In this case, the correct option is meters high. Okay. Que serían eh, metros de altura. Okay. Meters high. So, do you know how how tall or how high is the hospital? Mm -hmm. No. No. Uh, Let's let's say an approximate. An approximate. Two thousand. Uh, two thousand is more two thousand kilometers in the uh, ocean level. Ah, okay. Like two two thousand meters high. Huh? Creo que en su caso me quería decir como 2,000 metros sobre el nivel del mar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, in this case, it will be el pital is 2,000 meters high above the sea level. Que sería eh, sobre el nivel del mar, pero aquí lo que importa sería esto. 2,000, oops. 2,000 meters high. Ok. 2,000 meters high. Que serían 2,000 metros de altura. Ok. 2,000 meters high. Entonces, cuando usted vea en la, en la plataforma meters high, ya le está dando como medio la respuesta de lo que va a usar, que sería meters high. Perdón, de la pregunta, que sería high. How high? Okay. How high? Entonces, ahí le está diciendo tantos metros de altura. Okay. Entonces, la pregunta sería con how high is el pital. Of course, you're going to have a different type of question. No va a tener el pital en la plataforma, sino que another city, okay? Uh, how deep is Cuatepeque Lake? Aquí en ese caso, si se fijan, no estoy usando high, sino que deep. Que sería eh, profundidad, okay? How deep is Cuatepeque Lake? Vamos a inventar igual acá, okay? Cuatepeque Lake Oops. is, I don't know, Uh, 550 meters deep, okay? Que serían metros de profundidad, okay? Se fijan, eh, en la pregunta me está diciendo deep. So in the answer, I, ha I have to say deep as well, okay? 
como en la pregunta está deep, tengo que usar igual deep en la respuesta. ¿Ok? Entonces, acá entre paréntesis le voy dejando cómo se, ten, so, cómo se tendría que responder. ¿Ok? Con square kilometers, con meters high, o con meters deep. De acuerdo a cómo está la pregunta. How long is El Salvador? In total. How long is El Salvador? We're, going to, we're talking about the measure. Estamos hablando de la medida. Ah, El Salvador is... How many kilometers do you think we have in El Salvador? From Aguachapan to San Miguel or to La Unión, for example. How long do you think? Let's give me, give me an approximate. Mm -hmm. How many kilometers do we have? What do you think? A hundred? No, I think a hundred is maybe from Santa Ana to the center, you know? Maybe three, three hundred? Three hundred kilometers. Three hundred kilometers, okay. Mm -hmm. Probably, okay. That is how long? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 300 kilometers long, okay. Entonces, como la pregunta era con long, entonces eso se refiere a que quiere que le diga la, 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 la longitud, okay. Cuánta es la distancia de un lugar a otro. O la distancia total, okay. Entonces la pregunta igual sería con kilómetros. Y la más común, how tall are you? Okay. En ese caso, how tall are you? Okay. How tall are you? For example, I am 1.72 meters. What about you? How tall are you people? Pedro, how tall are you? Um, I am 1.81 meters. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. In that case, I think that's the one that we have more common, okay? The one that is more common. How tall are you? Okay. Uh, me, uh, no, I don't know. Marilena, how tall are you? Do you know? I am 1.16 meters. 60 meters. Okay. Perfect. All right. And the last ones. Okay. We are going to see description and condition. Okay. Description in general and also the condition that is talking about the weather. Okay. For example, how, how big are pupusas in your city, okay? In this case, I know, <laughs> I know that we don't have like a ruler and we are measuring the pupusas, of course, okay? We don't do that. However, sometimes we can compare it to something else, okay? Ah, it is like a small plate, okay? It is like a small plate. However, you can also measure it with uh, some centimeters, for example, okay? Uh, for example, you can say a pupusa is uh, around 12 centimeters, okay? Okay, something like that, okay? So, I mean, we don't usually say that, but that is also possible because the person is asking me how big, okay? How big? So I need to say a measure, okay? I need to say a measure. How hot is San Miguel? How many degrees in Celsius? ¿Cuántos grados centígrados creen que sea en San Miguel? Uh, Un aproximado. 37. 37, probably, right? Uh -huh, so San Miguel. 36. Okay, okay, we're going to write 36, okay? So San Miguel is 36 uh, uh, degrees, okay, in Celsius, okay, okay, so that is degrees, okay, degrees, esto sería grados, degrees, okay, 
degrees. Entonces, como nosotros en, 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 en Latinoamérica usamos centígrados, pero en Estados Unidos usan Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. Fahrenheit. entonces, that, pero igual usan los grados, ¿ok? They always say degrees. La, lo, lo único que cambia es la palabra al final. Nosotros decimos Celsius, ellos dicen Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Fahrenheit. And the opposite, how cold do you think is a taco, people? Uh -huh. How many degrees? What 18. do you think? 18. 18, okay. Okay. So a taco is 18 degrees Celsius, okay? 18 degrees Celsius, okay? So the same thing in this case, I am going to answer with degrees, okay? Degrees, grados, centigrados, okay? And as I said, I don't know, I, I know that this is not very common. Sé que no es muy común usar estas medidas. I think the most common ones are uh, how cold or how hot, okay? Que tan caliente, que tan eh, frío, okay? Also how tall, que tan alto eres, okay? How long, que tan largo es algo, eh, how high, how big, okay? And how far? Creo que también este es común. How far? Okay. Que tan lejos está algo de acá? Okay. So, one more time. Eh, en, el, en el ejercicio de la plataforma, creo que le va a dar la respuesta. Entonces, teniendo en cuenta la respuesta, usted se tiene que poner a pensar en cuál es la WH question que tiene que hacer. How far? Que tan lejos? How big? Que tan grande? How high? Que tan alto? How deep, que tan profundo. How long, que tan largo. How tall, que tan alto, pero de altura de, de, de persona. Eh, how big, que tan grande. How hot, que tan caliente. And how cold, eh, que tan frío. Okay. So, that is how you're going to answer, or that's how you're going to do that part. Okay. Do you have any questions? Ok, igual, si en el fin de semana usted está haciendo esta parte y no sabe exactamente cuál iría, mándeme un mensaje al WhatsApp y yo con gusto le ayudo. Y okay? le oriento para que juntos lleguemos a la conclusión de cuál sería. Ok. All right, people. Uh, thank you so much. Have a nice weekend. Please take care. Okay. No salga si no es necesario. And have a good night. Okay. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Good night, everybody.